Hi guys, I'm Eugene. Today I'm here with Lenny. So Lenny is my friend who started out as a barista. Now he's in digital. He does HubSpot stuff, but he's going to explain what he does on HubSpot. And then I've been showing him some SEO stuff, some affiliate marketing stuff. So he's fully in digital now. So he's going to tell us about his transition from working uh, in, in the coffee industry to making the transition to digital, how it happened, where, like, where he met the people that allowed him to be able to move to digital, where these people even came from. Um, because in today's post, I want to show the importance of socializing, networking, and going to places where uh, people, uh, where tech people work. Um, for example, if you work in Cape Town, Sometimes going to work in a coffee shop can help you meet other people who work in tech. Um, actually, I've been to Lenny's old place. I meet a lot of young guys who are doing some big things in Cape Town. And you wouldn't meet them if you're working from home, staying in your office the whole day. So I'm going to let Lenny introduce himself. Uh, so just tell people your background uh, and how you got into digital, what you were doing before. Uh, yeah, like who facilitated your move from being a barista to being uh, into, tech. into tech, yeah. Cool. Um, hi guys, my name is Lenny, Lenny Shabango. So previously I would say I would add coffee guy, but now like I'm in digital full time. Um, so what happened, um, I was a barista, so I love coffee and there was a space where I enjoyed doing what I was doing. And then, um, so 2020 in COVID, I decided to do something else because like everything was, was closed. And I was like, you know what, what can I study that can make me work from home? Um, so I looked into digital. So that's why I started to look into affiliate marketing and trying to teach myself uh, one or two things and do like look for online courses yeah I, I remember when you started doing affiliate marketing you were showing me a few I was things showing you, like, yeah yeah but it wasn't working at the time <laughs> for sure because yeah. i was trying to teach you but yeah so that's where it all started yeah and then um things opened that was like what 2021 i went back to work but then i yeah i i changed jobs where i was working i'm i'm joined rosetta in cape town so everyone that loves coffee yeah rosetta is, is the by it's is by the, the silo the, the, so is, if you're in cape town they by the silo, silo. It's, it's part of the waterfront by the silo and the main one is in bree street in, in in town as well so they are the best coffee guys and the best um uh, yeah they have the best work uh, environment so from there that's when i realized that okay uh, i love tech and what i'm uh, i'm trying to teach myself there is people doing it here actually full time you know so i started to like develop a, a way of asking the right questions so it's a thing that you, you get to 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 learn if you want to learn something asking the right questions uh, well, okay what what do you mean asking the right questions so you working as a barista, as a barista and yes. then i'm a customer so what, what would you say what's like asking the right questions so asking the right question i mean um I, I i have a conversation with you right i'm a barista so i have a way of having a conversation to get to a point where i get to know what you are doing yeah and, and then how do these people respond to the questions do, do they welcome them or, or they or, like what's their response so what i realize if you ask the right question um to someone they are so happy to 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 give you the information because no one really asks the right questions it's more of like let's say if someone makes a lot of money yeah a lot of a, a person would ask the wrong question which is like how much money do you make uh, which is the wrong which question is the wrong yeah question. so it was more of like okay I, I, i've done this and um i would like to learn more yeah you know not to get to your point but to to, to learn more in a, in a way that um i can make it work as well on my own yeah so yeah that, that was like the the asking the right question part so um yeah so fast forward i was still learning um on my side on my own on, on my side 
the digital uh the affiliate marketing side more and so it involves like your uh, advertising you know email marketing and all that so i was doing those courses online while working as a barista so finance those by myself and make sure that in a month or two i i have a certificate of this and that so um so right now i'm a um HubSpot implementation specialist. So HubSpot is a CRM software where like it's more, I normally explain it like it's an office building with uh, the all the departments in one in one space. So there's like your HR, there's like your marketing team, there's like your sales team, there's like, um, you know, the uh, service team, all in one, in, in one place, but more of like online businesses. So having everything like in one uh, space. Or so HubSpot is a CRM. Eh? It's a CRM, yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. when you are, when you say you are a HubSpot implementation specialist, what do you guys do? So, so I work for an um, agency that onboards clients. So that's people that buy the software. So we design um, a like a plan sort of a plan that works for them like for their business to maximize their if they are sales to maximize their sales if it's a like an ngo or a non-profit to have their data uh clear and uh clean in a sort of a way organized is the right word so we build that so we design the process and i build so that's my job i yeah. build like automations or um property properties which we use to store data and collect data with so that's my job um that's what i do oh, okay you like that job yeah i'm enjoying it i'm learning a lot every day cause oh, okay so for anyone who's interested what is the general salary you made before as a barista like f first because you were like almost a manager or like a assistant yeah. assistant manager so just let people know like in general in cape town how much do those roles pay and then i i know you did an internship for a while also explain to people like just making the jump mm -hmm. from internship to full-time the comparison bef between the two careers um so with coffee it's not it's not paying much it's uh understandably so because um of the i think it's the it's the, it's the cost price of the beverage it's, it's small still you know so with coffee i was like making let's say let's say uh below 15 as an assistant manager so as an barista i was like below 10. yeah yeah so um do i have to tell them like how i got in how i got the hubspot job as yeah, well? yes 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 that's the important part that's, important that's part. the that's the important part yeah <laughs> yeah okay so the hubspot job uh, was how it came about was it came about like from me having an interaction uh, with the like my everyday interaction with the clients um people that come into the cafe space and then uh so it happened that there were like two american ladies that were chilling there at the table so i went to give them their coffee and then in like a few minutes time the lady one of the ladies opened um her laptop she had like those extended screens yeah so and then like i hear someone comes there so like those screens must be expensive and i'm like in my mind I'm like that's the wrong question you know yeah so <laughs> it's that's the wrong question that's the wrong question that you like you can see that they, they, they're expensive but um what is it that they they, they do to, yeah what yeah what do, what do what do they do for a living for exactly. yeah so, uh, yeah so because they were nice they were super nice when we had had a conversation about coffee and they were asking me things about the city how they would like to do a lot of things while they were still around so i went again back to them I was like oh so okay so what do you do i see like you guys have the best uh working equipment they tell me like oh, no, we have we're in digital marketing and we own a, an agency so we do hubspot and that time i don't know what hubspot is yeah so they like um oh i'm like oh oh that's nice so i'm also in digital marketing but i'm i'm yeah learning on my own at my own pace so i wouldn't say like i'm so much uh what do you call experienced so 
they were like, oh, nice, what, you, what, what have you done? What have you covered? So I told them, like, I've done this, I've done the advertising courses. Yeah. And they were like, oh, that's cool. And I'm like, ah, could you please write down your, your, your website so that I, I go and look uh, into it and check what HubSpot does? Yeah. And then after that, sh- they were smiling, they looked at me. And then when they were leaving, because that was the, the, the conversation. Yeah. Pretty much. So I wrote their website, I put it in my pocket. I went back to work. So when they were leaving, that was like, I think, 30 minutes after. I would even forgot that I had a conversation with them. Then they come to me, they're like, um, so we are doing a hires in Cape Town. And yeah, so we thought we should let you know. I'm like, ah, uh, uh, that's cool. I'm like, I don't know anything. Uh, I don't even know what HubSpot is yeah. at that point. What they do. Like, they, they, but they saw your hunger, eh? They saw yeah, yeah. You yeah. see, and that's then, the most important part. For yeah. sure. And then they're like, okay, we'll come and see you before we leave. I even forgot their names already. Yeah. Because it was just mere conversation. And I wanted to to see how they are doing it. For me, it was, you know, a matter of like going to check how they're doing it and add it into my own um, skill set or my own uh, learning. Because I was, you know, doing everything by myself and trying to learn as much as I can. And then uh, fast forward a few weeks down the line, they come back. They're so excited. And I'm like so confused. People are looking at me they're so excited, smiling. I'm like, yeah. who are these people? And they're like, oh, so we are leaving uh, tomorrow. So we came to, we're not even get, going to get coffee. We came to see you. I'm like, all right. And they gave me their, their number. Yeah. They're like, contact us here. We're going to be in, in the US in three days time. Then I did contact them. Then then we had a call, and I told them how I had uh, done my research, like what HubSpot was. Yeah. And then they were like, "Tell you what, we you inspired us. We wanna start a internship in our company." Yeah. So and you see, you created your own opportunity. They yeah, went. Yeah. You see. Yeah. yeah? Pretty much. Yeah. I was lucky. I would say as well. So, I um it was in July. Yeah, it was in July. Then yeah. August, they st- we started the the internship. Mm. So August twenty twenty three, yeah. And then um, from there, I got a, f- a a training of like what two months. Two months, two months training. Yeah. yeah. Then after that, I was doing clients work, and so uh, pretty much I didn't have a life because I would pretty much leave work. Get oh yeah, you you, st- you still had two jobs. You still uh, had your yeah. barista job and, and, and the internship, yeah. And internship at work like uh, uh, night hours from six to uh, eleven thirty. Sometimes if the, the the work is pressing, I would even sleep at two a.m. Waking up at four, four, you know. Yeah, getting yeah. Getting ready for. So what what made you, you? So you were working two jobs until are you still working two jobs no, now? No. So I, I I eventually went full time in Jan. January 2024 and I had to leave uh, coffee because you know um, digital demands more of me and also there is a lot at stake you know that needs my attention like you know all of it undivided so and I must be well rested because there is like you know a huge amount of money okay. of clients work that can go wrong. Okay, you must be well rested. Must go. Well okay, rested. then the last question with regards to this HubSpot thing. So you you said assistant manager is a barista Cape Town is under fifteen k. Uh, just a normal barista job is under ten k, right? Yeah. So with this new field of yours, like how like from what you've heard from your colleagues and everyone else what you've seen online what is the ceiling for like salaries in that in that in this new field um in this new field um obviously it works with experience as well but um in dollars it's like what 4k 4k okay 4k in dollars yeah, yeah so, so so that's maybe it's between 70 and 80,000 rands I think. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. But I'm still like a bit I'm I'm quite low from getting the 4k now cuz I'm still at the beginning. But I'll get the um probably maybe the end of the year I'll, or they've got in there. Yeah, that's too fast, man. You've yeah. been I think you've been at this since last year. 
So this is your second full year, right? This is my second full this year. Is your sec- so that's why I'm saying you still, if you get to f- like three, four K within two years of enter, that's a that's a good, yeah, it's a good field. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you earn in dollars and you live in South Africa, Sorry. then you know that's a lot of money. True. Because two K, two K is like thirty eight K in rents, or thirty seven K. So it's a lot of money. It's a lot of yeah, money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we're done with the uh, house port. Now I want you to talk about the affiliate stuff that we've been doing. Uh, those projects. Uh, how how did you start doing those? Um, yeah. So like, obviously, you knew I had a, a bit of background with affiliate marketing, and um, I think that's pr- pretty much that, that. That's what made you work with me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Also. I used to show him, I'm like, this is how much you can make. And, you know, he never used to take me serious. You know, I used to show this guy and he's like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> he didn't believe me. <laughs> like, no, because um, I think it's, it's, it's all comes, it all comes to the background of my work where I'm used to making, like, you know, something that will just pay my rent and get a bit of savings and it's done. So, and then, like, while we're working and... It's like, okay, if we execute this, it's a small task, execute that. We'll be in a position to make like 3K a month. Not not in rands, in dollars. I yeah, I, I used to I used to tell him I don't talk in rands, yeah? Like, there's no, like, if you work in digital, you're doing affiliate marketing. Most of the time, it's in dollars. So, yeah, for sure. So when I'm saying 3K, I'm not saying 3K rands. And it, like, he never used to think I'm serious. No, no, <laughs> yeah. I, I would probably like, but I would, I would still put in work. And um, so from, when did we start, like what? Uh, so J- July, July we were doing the setup. The setup, yeah. We went live in August. So July, yeah, we started July last year. July last year, yes, mm. yeah. So yeah, we, we, we did our first project. We did set up in July and then August, there was already like, you could see the results and um, I think September was when we had like our uh, the first payout. The first, yeah, the first payout was in yeah, September. So I was like, that's what changed my whole perspective. I was like, okay, this is that was that was motivation. Was like, yeah, so and cool. you know what's funny, yeah. the the money he makes now from the payouts is more than what a barista ends. Yeah. So it, it, within from July last year, such a short space of time. That's the that's yeah, the power yeah. that's the power of digital and earning true. money in dollars. In yeah. dollars, yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah, it's it's changed a lot. It's changed a lot, and yeah, um, quite for, uh, happy and and grateful that I got into these spaces and and met people that were willing to share and and equip me as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So for me, I think he's right about even like before I used to, I used to stay at home. I don't. I don't talk to anyone. Yeah. So I like it when someone asks me, "Okay, what do you do? Show me how you do it." That stuff is interesting to me, right? Because you know, if like my girlfriend gets tired of this stuff, you know, she's like, ah, "I don't want to hear about this SEO nonsense anymore." Because like, there's only so much you can talk. Like, you need other people who are interested in this. You need like-minded people. So if there's, like, I'm not a gatekeeper. I don't want yeah, to keep yeah. this stuff to myself. If someone wants to learn, then I, I tell I, I tell them. But they must show interest. Well, yeah. 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 The yeah, problem is, uh, yeah, yeah. So, like, most of the time, when someone asks me something, they want me to do the work for them. They, they oh, want, like, right. something that's already set up. And that's not how it works, you know? Kind of like quick, uh, quick result kind of thing. No, it's like when someone is, like, someone who is going to be working in another field, they think, ah, this is easy money. They don't realize there's the a amount lot. of work. That yeah, the amount in, of yeah. work in the background. Yeah, hmm. yeah. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot because there is, with uh, I think pretty much anything in tech you have to do like uh, thorough research, you know, uh, putting a lot of work, doing a lot of um, comparisons, see what works, see what's new as well because there's every there's always something new in tech, you know, with the these AIs there's always something developed, there's always something new, so always keep up. So that's 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 a lot to keep up on its own because you have to check what the trends, you know, look into it, 
and yeah get get the the grasp uh, the grasp of everything that's happening in the tech area so yeah i i, I would say like if someone wants it quick that's not how it, that's not how it works that's not how it works yeah, yeah you, you yeah. have to work have like to work hard yeah and, and the and first wait. month the first month is usually like the most the busiest month yeah yeah for sure yeah ah, okay guys i think that's enough for today i hope you learned a lot uh please like comment and subscribe we'll be doing more videos like this in the future thank you guys cheers